Yo, what up, everybody? So, I bought a piece of property in 2005 or 2004. 2004, 2005. I paid $19,000 cash for it. I had just paid off my restaurant and I had extra money. And I was blowing it because I was in my 20s and I didn't know any better. So, Everyone back then, this was before the 2008 crash, they said, buy land, buy land, because God isn't making any more land, blah, 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 blah. So I paid $19,000 cash for this piece of property, and for some reason, every year, I got to pay rent for my own property to the government, which literally means you cannot own property in America, because if you own it, that means you don't have to pay anyone for it. But if you have to pay somebody for it every year and you don't pay them and they can send guys with guns to come take your property from you, then it's not your property. So every year I call them and I say to them, when do I get to own this property? And they'll say something stupid like you do own it. I go and then I'll say something like, if I own it, why do I have to pay you for it? And then they'll say something stupid like, oh, it's just a tax, sir. As if that magically makes it okay. So there's no private property in America, technically, because you can't own something. If you have to pay somebody for it under the penalty of confiscation or tax liens or blah, 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 whatever magic words they come up with it in their religion of violence, then it's not yours. So you're not the owner of your house. You're not the owner of your property. If you have to pay somebody else for it, you're not the owner. So this yearly rent. I call them every year and I bust their nuts because that's what government deserves. They're working for us. And once we all get together and realize that and put an end to all this roadside extortion and racketeering and this uh, you can't own your property unless you pay us bullshit, then it's going to keep happening and it's going to keep escalating because the government never stops. So... Before I play you the phone call, let me tell you a quick story. I bought this property, $19,000 cash. I've been trying to sell it ever since. It's not really selling, whatever. So I just keep paying the yearly property tax on it or else I get threatened with violence. And so one time I looked up Cadillac Alantes in 1993, which I wanted to buy. So I called up about 12 dealerships and I offered them my property in a, as an even exchange for a Cadillac Elante, which I paid 19,000 Cadillac Elantes are worth about 11 to 14,000. So every single one of them said no. And then the last guy I called, uh, he's like, I'm not really interested. So I threw out the old line. I said, God isn't making any more land. And he says, well, God isn't making any more Elantes either, which was the best comeback ever. And I still have the property and I'm still paying the yearly extortion fee to Joe G. Tedder, whoever that asshole is. So, here's the phone call. Thank you for calling the tax collector's office for Poe County. To access online payment services, information, and service center wait times, visit poketaxes.com. If you are not a Poe County taxpayer or resident, press 8 now for the services available to you. Blah, blah, blah. Para blah, espanol, blah. por favor, presione nueve. Presione. For office hours, locations, and appointments. Please press 1. For motorist services, including driver licenses, ID cards, vehicle taxes, press 3. For concealed weapons, hunting, and fishing licenses. Did you know property tax pay? For real estate property taxes, press 1. For tangible personal property... One moment, please. I thought I had a bad accent when I was speaking Spanish. office. Penny speaking to help you. Hi, Penny. How are you? I'm going to record this phone call for my records. Okay, what can I help you with? I'd like to pay this yearly rent you guys charge me. Uh, Hello? Do you have an account number or physical address? Account number is 323-015. Uh, is that the account number? Because you're missing two numbers. 
It says account number, and then it, that number I just read to you is inside of a box. What's the um, address? 7th Street West. The last name on the account. Felix, F-I-L-A-X. First name? John. Okay, the amount due is $153.12. <clears throat> okay, can I ask a question? Sure. When do I get to own my property? What do you mean, when do you get to own it? Like, when do I not have to pay anyone for it? Because I paid it off. I bought it in 2005 for $19,000 cash. And for some reason, I keep having to pay you guys for it. At what point does the property become mine? It is yours. You do have to pay real estate taxes every year. And that does not go away. If it's mine, why, why would I have to pay you? If, it, if I have to pay you, then it's not mine. It's, not, it's yours. You need to speak to your congress... Uh, someone in the Senate or the House of Representatives for Florida. Oh, they're the people that are... Florida statutes. They're the owners of my property? They're the, they're the ones that <clears throat> mandate the fees and everything on the properties. It's all in the Florida statutes. Oh, so they passed a statute saying that I can't own my property unless I pay them. Sir, uh, if you own your property, you do have to pay real estate tax. Ma'am, you can't own something and pay someone else for it. That's contradicting uh, i'm not debating on it i'm I, not I debating either i'm just going by the dictionary that's not a debate well, you, you either own it or you don't you can't have it both ways then you need to speak to an, a real estate attorney a real estate attorney yes sir okay so until the who'd you say senators and politicians decide to let uh -huh. me own my all of the florida statutes what we what we charge and what we collect for Right, so until they decide to, that I can own my own property, I have to pay a yearly rent, basically. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. I mean, that's what it is. It's, n it's never going to be mine if I have to pay someone else for it. So I'm ready when you are to pay this extortion fee. I'm doing it under duress. Well, then you need to put that in writing. Well, what in writing? that you're paying it under duress because I... Now, this is where I think I'm onto something because she says I need that in writing. Okay, now listen. Duress because there's nowhere I can put that in the system. It would have to come in well, writing. That's, there's nowhere I can put that in the system, she says. That's why I'm recording. It's on record. So tell me when you're ready. It's on our record. Well, it's on my record. I could prove it in, in court at any time. So I'm ready when you are. Hold on. Poor lady. And how did you want to pay that? Credit. I'm just going to charge information number. Sure. Four four nine six two four four nine. And there's nowhere you can leave a note where I'm paying under duress. Uh, I'd prefer it in writing. I'm not asking what you prefer, ma'am. I'm asking if there's a note you can put. I can put a note in the account, but I prefer it in Okay, writing. please put the note in the account for the record that I'm paying under duress. All right. And I understand it's not you that's doing all this, but you're the person they put to face the people because they're too cowardly to do it themselves. I know it's not you, ma'am, and I don't mean to give you a hard time, but you're the person they put up against the people. All right, you have a good day. You do the same, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, when I said I want to pay under duress, first she wanted it in writing, then she said it had to be in writing, and then she said there's nowhere to, for her to put it in her thing, and then when I pressed her on it, she said she preferred it in writing. So if everybody, either in writing or makes them put it in the memo, when they pay their property taxes, they should say I'm doing I'm doing it under duress. That way there's a record that you don't agree with it, and then maybe one day we could own our own property again. What a concept. Go to my eBay and Etsy and uh, Patreon and...